Hello everyone, and welcome back to Scarlet Nexus. Uh, we're just gonna hop into it right away. Uh, I did a little bit of off-screen stuff in between episodes real quick. Got this pretty sick half-gas mask. Uh, non-functional, by the way. Uh, just confirming the canon for you guys. Um, I took the liberty of doing a little bit of crafting, which I didn't even know we could do. And I upgraded my, uh, knives here. To as far as I could get them on the current crafting system. <laughs> to like all my resources. But I think it'll be a nice improvement to our current damage. I feel like we should probably be doing a lot more than we are. Uh, everyone else does their standard stuff. Uh, I gave her the, her own charm. Because I felt it was appropriate. Uh, everyone has tier 2 weapons now. So that's fine. That's great. Uh, we're going to be looking at the brain map now because it expanded. It's pretty, pretty epic, if you ask me. Uh, let's see. Charge attack. That's cool and all, but I don't think we need that. Let's get expand backstep. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> oh, this would be really good. This would be super good to have. What the heck? We're taking that. Oh my goodness. Well, I'll be. And then auto heal? Yeah, we're taking this tree. Uh, at six points, uh, it makes sense that it's expensive, but, uh, being able to activate multiple abilities at once is something I've been wanting for a while. I didn't even realize that we could just get that, although we might not have been able to until we unlocked Brainfield. Yeah, alright. That's good and all. Uh, let's move on to our next Bond episode. Which I think we have to do through the brain uh, transmit here. Alright. Here we go. We're going to Masubi's again. I guess that's just a popular place to be. Which, I mean, fair enough. Oh, Kasane. How are you? I'm fine. You look all right, too. I'm sorry. I'm actually not all right. I can't just pretend like nothing happened. I hope we can talk about what's going on. I can't stand being your enemy. I think it's unfortunate, too. I don't want to fight you. We finally became friends. So why do we have to fight? As long as you're with Yuito, I'll fight you. There is something I have to do. That's crazy. If you don't want to fight, why don't you come with me? What? What are you saying? I have to achieve my goal no matter what. So I need fighters. I need you, Hanabi. Are you telling me to make Yuito my enemy? I could never do that. If it's hard for sentimental reasons, then you can just give me information. Like where he is, or where he's going. Hey, don't insult me. I would never betray him! Oh. Uh, I guess negotiations have broken down. Why are you so angry, though? Of course I'm angry! Yuito and I grew up together, and he's my friend. He never gives up on his ideals, no matter how hard things are. I know he's worried, and I know it must be hard for him to have to fight you. That's why I have to stand by his side. But you want me to betray him! All you talk about is Yuito. Why do you care about him so much? You were the one who started it! I think we should decide who and why we fight for ourselves. Not because of someone else's feelings. <sighs> Maybe you let other people inform your opinions because you're emotionally immature. What? How can you say that? I've had enough. Going home. Hanabi? Maybe I said too much. I failed. I don't get it, though. I wanted to know what she thought, 
But all she talked about was Yuito. She's intense when she talks about him. She looked just like Naomi. Wait, Naomi had a thing for Yuito. Does this mean Hanabi likes him too? If that's true, then I really did mess up. Aw, oh, jeez, Kasane. We're taking off the gas mask. <laughs> it ruins cutscenes. I was hoping the game would take it off during cutscenes, but... Alright. Unfortunate. I really like the way that half gas mask looks. Oh, yeah. Yes, he is. Okay. Oh, sorry, I just want to disengage it. I'll just pop off the goggles, too, because why not? I see. I guess they don't like the gas mask. I took it off and they said it looks good. Okay. I see. I see how it is. Kyoka, can I give you a gift? I cannot. Alright, well I think that wraps up our Bond episode. Let's watch some TV real quick for lore. A flurry of activity has continued around the areas near the OSF headquarters and government facilities. While still unconfirmed, we have also received information that something may have happened to Chairman Joe Sumeragi. The people of Suo are concerned with the safety of the Chairman, who has garnered popularity far and wide. Well, he's kinda dead. And it ain't me that did it. It's this little bastard right here. Heterochromia looking head ass. Alright, let's get out of here. Surprised you're still awake. I think I'm tired. I should rest. That should be enough rest. First, that was fast. I want to know where my sister is. I wonder if Karin is in Seiron. So Naomi is an other, and in Seiron. I think I got the gist of everything that's been going on based on what Major General Karin said. I'm not doubting it, but people actually changing into others? None of you saw it happen, so I'm sure it's hard to believe. But it's the truth. My sister was turned into another. I will help my sister. That's why I'm with Seiron. Are you feeling alright, Kasane? The brain field was a big strain on you. It was horrible, but I'm fine. There weren't really any after effects. I was very emotional. I think that's why I wasn't able to use it very well. That's what happens when you go off by yourself. You're lucky we got to you. It's a skill used in the OSF, but getting yourself all whacked every time you use it is probably not good. It's all about how you use it. It's a double-edged sword that can cost you your life. That's what strength is. Yes, that's true. Just don't use it too much. Okay, Kasane? Yes. I'll be careful. Hey guys, got a minute? Oh, Haruka. Since you're sending messages, does that mean you're in Seiron? Yes. I wasn't invited by Major General Karin, but I felt like I could do something in Seiron. So, I put in a request to be your platoon operator. Our platoon? We've been reorganized? Yeah, that's why I contacted you. Seiron has created the Seiron OSF with Major General Karin in charge. I guess it's about half the size of the old OSF. So half really did come to Seiron. I'm guessing things are going to get pretty rough now in Suo. Kasane, Hyoka, Arashi, Shiden, Kagero, you five were placed into first platoon. The commander is Kasane. Good luck. Uh. <laughs> Looks like First Platoon already has a mission. First, you need to go see Major General Karin and get your orders directly. The location is Seiron OSF Headquarters. That's our HQ from now on. I guess we're already pawns in their game. Oh well, here we go. Ah, uh, shit. Like a platoon full of troublemakers. Maybe Karin thought we'd be easier to handle this way. Here we go again. I'm glad we're all together. We can still use the hideout as well. Good thing Karin summoned us. Let's go to Seiron OSF HQ right away.
exploding screen. You're here. Yes, it's just like you said. We were able to get here without any issues. Could you at least face people when talking to them? You haven't changed since you were a child. <laughs> oh my, that's awfully courteous of you, Karin. I'm pretty surprised you would trust us so soon after our exile. I never said I trusted you, and I don't care if you don't trust me either. However, it's clear that we both want the same thing. Besides, Kasane is a hero to Seirong for assassinating Chairman Sumeragi. That's... Do you have a problem with being a hero? I'm not interested in being anybody's hero, but I suppose Seiron is looking to use that to their advantage. Good, you're smart. Having you be a hero will help us tremendously in Seiron. What are you asking me to do? Look at this. A wall. This must be the area around Kunat Highway. Wait, the sky. We saw that in the future. <gasps> Whoa there. I'm not sure you should be sharing that. Wouldn't want anybody here thinking you've got loose lips. Sh shut up. I know, it just slipped out. Everything all right? No, oh, it's nothing. Shaden just got a little freaked out by such an unbelievable sight. Huh? Oh, are you still freaking out? Yeah, just, just a little freaked out. It seems small. The Kunai gate we saw in the future was much bigger. Probably just needs time. So this is going to expand and destroy the world. Epic. Well, I can't say for sure just from this video. The data seems to show that there is some gravitational anomaly. Exactly. They were able to confirm an extremely localized gravitational anomaly above the Kunad Highway. We've named this phenomenon the Kunad Gate, and decided to send experts to see if we can get more information on it. The Kunad Gate. Everything starts there. And that's where you all come in. Your mission is to escort the investigation team there with me. You'll be working as members of the OSF for Seiron. Your duties won't be any different from before. That's fine, but how is Naomi? My answer will depend on... We can talk about that after we escort the investigation team. We need to show Seiron that you're all useful and ready to support the cause. So that's how you play your politics, Major General Karin. It's trivial, but we need to at least do the bare minimum. That doesn't sound like something a person who just started a rebellion would say. You okay with that? Yes. Not happy about it, but I'll play along for now. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad I took off the gas mask. It would ruin one of these cutscenes. Oh boy, we're back on the highway. I wonder if there's any buses. You were right to share information with me. As I expected, someone almost screwed it up. I already apologized for that. Let it go already. Mm, checkpoint. Sure. You can really move now, huh? Actually, I actually wanted to check this uh, on this off ramp. Actually. A save point in a shop. Nice. We'll just uh, pop one of these bad boys real quick. And be moving right along. Well, there is nothing over here, so we'll keep moving this way. I can't wait for auto regen, that's gonna be so nice. It's gonna save us a lot of jelly. Looks like your usage rate of hypervelocity with SAS is low. I have to finish this mission fast and ask Karin about Naomi. Naomi. Hang on, Naomi. I'm using it. 
Alright. Okay, we don't actually go any faster, it just slows the enemies down. I wanted to see if out of combat maybe we could go a little quicker, but it doesn't look like that's going to be the case. And we're back in a cutscene. How frightening. Is it drawing in everything around it? I wonder what would happen if you get sucked inside. Oh, I know. Hey, Sheedan, stick your finger inside it. Stick your own head inside it. Okay, okay, you guys are hilarious, but don't go near the gate even as a joke. Curiosity killed the cat, you know. This almost feels like the power of the red strings. The same gravitational powers Yuito and I both share. If I'm to believe in this feeling, then future Yuito is right. But when you used your time travel power, it didn't disappear because my power resonated with yours. Not only that, every time I used my power, the gate would warp and suck in the surrounding space. Should I tell Karin that Yuito is somehow causing this? But I don't have any evidence to back it up. Kasane. Uh, yes? Did you jump into the future? What are you talking about? Feigning ignorance isn't going to work. It's clear you knew about the Kunad Gate. No, this is the first I'm seeing it. Don't waste my time. What happened in the future? Answer me. He isn't just assuming, he's almost sure of it. Then there's no point in trying to hide it. I should try to find out what I can from him. I met you as the world was about to end. Did you know it was me right away? What? Yes, you looked like you do now. Now that I think about it, Yuito had aged, but Karin looked exactly the same. Did he just not age, or could it be... something else? What did future me say? You told me that if I had gone to the future earlier, you could have found a cure to metamorphosis. I see. What do you know, Karin? If you know how to cure metamorphosis, then you can save Naomi. Seiron has labs that are conducting research on others. For now, that's really all I can tell you. And that's where Naomi is? Yes, she's being held there. Where is the lab? I can't tell you. It's highly classified research and only authorized personnel are allowed in the facility. So I'm not authorized? If you won't tell me. My deepest apologies for interrupting, but apparently they've finished working on the probe. We're ready to leave. Understood. And with that, your mission comes to a close. Feel free to do whatever you want until I contact you again. Wait, Karin! Arashi, why did you stop me? You lose all perspective when it comes to Naomi. Maybe that's why I just can't ignore you. Anyway, I know you want to go to that lab, so you'd be smart not to rock the boat here. What do you mean? If you want to act without the higher-ups' consent, then at least pretend that you're an obedient soldier. You're going to help me look for Naomi? Isn't it obvious? I do consider you a friend, after all. Besides, I am concerned about Naomi. The other research sounds interesting as well. Okay. I feel better knowing that I have your help. Let's gather any info we can on this lab. In any case, we should stop by the hideout. Let's go. Yo, is that Rainbow Road? My god. It really do be Rainbow Road. I know it's someone else, though. Is it just special interaction? Okay. Oh, there might be an item there. Before we go back to hideout, I just want to run down this road. Alright, so that just goes back the way we came. Alright. Back to the hideout we go. I see. 
see. So that's what you're up to. Sorry to keep you waiting. Oh, you're all here. Arashi, how could you and Kasane be planning all this fun without us? Oh, you can be so cold sometimes. I don't remember having to answer to some nosy wannabe assassin. I have no idea what you're talking about. So, you're basically planning on letting Kasane take all the blame while keeping everything a secret. I think it's in your best interest to keep in mind that I don't trust you one bit. I was wondering about that too. Kagero, why did you kill Chairman Sumeragi? Look, he isn't the type to tell us the truth, so we should just let it go for now. That's awfully rude to say in front of me. Better than saying it behind your back. Don't forget what my power is. If you go invisible, I'll take that as a sign of hostility. Oh, duplication. I wouldn't want anyone else watching over me. <laughs> anyway, were you really planning on investigating this secret laboratory without letting us know? I wasn't trying to keep it a secret. I just haven't had a chance to tell you. That's basically the same as keeping it a secret. No. We can't just let the two of you go investigate by yourselves. It's far too dangerous. Hold on. We really were going to tell you, honest. Besides, we can't easily pull it off with just the two of us. I looked into this lab, and it's going to be way harder to get in than I thought. You found out where it is? Yeah. I thought I'd have trouble with that, but Saron's security wasn't hard to crack. Well, maybe for you. Okay. Then let's go now. Whoa there. Wait a sec. You sure then? We're coming with you. That's fine with me. Besides, based on what Ara she said, it wouldn't be a good idea to go alone. I just want to be clear that this isn't an official operation. We're planning on breaking in without telling Karin or Seiron. Things may get messy, but if that's fine with you, then you can come. Well, that's all you needed to say. I'd be more than happy to provide my services to you. Honestly, Kasane, we're friends. You don't need to hesitate to come to us for help. Ah, oh, I suppose going against the government so quickly after our exile is on brand for us. Baruka. I've prepared a relatively safe route using the information Arashi provided. Thank you. I'll leave the navigation to you. Alright, well that was easy. Top secret research base. Oh yeah, we can just walk in. Okay. I'm not sure they could have designed a place to look more suspicious than this. You might even think it was on purpose. Sorry guys, I can't access the internal data from here. Don't worry, I've got this. Follow me. Uh, I don't like the subtext, hidden atrocities. Or whatever it was, there's something atrocities. Regardless, I don't like that subtext. I'm gonna play Rainbow Six. Anyways. Sneaky, sneaky. Hacker woman. How'd you unlock it so damn fast? When did you have the time to do that? I want to say it was a piece of cake, but I didn't have time to hack any of the others. According to what I found, there's more than a few of these security gates around the facility. It's going to be a real pain. Knowing that is enough. We can do the rest on our own. Be careful, everyone. <laughs> Take that. What's over here? A glimpse into the future, I imagine. Very epic. Are they studying others in the wild or something? 
Crunchy. Oh, these things. Although maybe we haven't seen these before. Maybe I'm misremembering. But I thought these were the smoke cloud generators. If you catch fire, you're gonna burn. Shock and awe. Uh, so, pop both of these. Wait, what does it say? Sorry. Okay. I feel like duplication plus one of these big boys will be nice. Crunchy munchy. Looks like I got stronger again. Delicioso. Wonderful. <laughs> yummy yummy. I'm gonna actually head back just a little ways. Because the secure gate security gate was the obvious way to go. Even if you don't need it, being invisible is fun. Um I feel like there might be stuff uh, this way, maybe. Okay, it's a level 3 gate, so I imagine we can't do that one yet. Just wanted to confirm that we're not missing any of the, any good loot or anything. Yeah, see, we're sitting at 1045, it'd be so nice to just regen out of combat. Even if it is, like, super slow or something like that. But, you know, whatever. I'm sure there's a downside. These others, were they all people? I really hope that's not the case. I can't tell which of them are people and which weren't. We can't think about it now. We just have to press on. With that oil, it'll be hard to move if they get on you, so be careful. Juggle. Jeez. Well, that wasn't so bad. I wish we could move this shelf. Oh well. Entrance is here. Uh, looks like there's a hallway down there we can get an item. Just check over here, make sure I don't miss anything. And this is the way we're supposed to go, so that means that this is the optional route. Whoever it is, it hits. Basically, need a guaranteed insta kill every time. And a bicycle because fuck you and everyone you love. Looks like I've improved. 
Nice. Alright, what's in here? Can't activate that yet. Alright. Grab that thingy, my bobber. Grab this thing. And I guess we'll be on our way. That we're always together. Yes, I did. There's a locked gate. I think it needs a key card. This lock looks hard to break. It would be faster to just find the key. Maybe some forgetful staff worker dropped their key card somewhere. Yeah, we can't interact with this one at all. It's locked and doesn't seem like it will open. We might be able to release the lock by destroying the device that controls it. We might be able to apply high voltage to it, for example. Thank Unless you. we just use it on the door itself. Look, man. You could have made it a little bit more obvious. That I just had to attack the door. It's like, oh, there might be a device nearby. It's on the door. Yeah, by an other. Right. That's probably what killed him. Sheesh! Got the key card! Open the door. Can't take the jelly. save point, huh? They've been pretty generous, these save points. Makes me a little anxious. Attempt to use our ability, but we do not. I'll do this, Gina. Sheesh. Four sealed mark four medium jelly. Alright, alright. We take those. We take those. Let's go. Uh hentai monster. Barista Santa? Uh, how about Barista Fuck No? Beat it to death? I don't like it. Remove it from existence. I was really hoping to get a brain crush off on that thing. I would have been very curious to see what that looks like.
Oh my god, I can steer it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get him. Get him. Sheesh. That's overpowered. But I'm down for it. <laughs> it's Beyblade. Oh my god. Oh, there's two of them in this room. Damn, bro. Okay. Alright, next... Oh. Next enemy we encounter, we're doing brain field. Let's fuck it, we can. Alright, we gotta stop. We can only do it for a second, we only had a little bit of meter left, but that's okay. I think we actually killed one anyway, so... Easy W. Dog water, dog water, Dollar Tree headset, your garbage, your trash. I don't like you or your zip code. Perish. Alright, hypervelocity electrokinesis, let's do this. Throw the rock. Easy clap. Sit down. Oh shit, there was like six of them? Alright, let's do this. Now I want to lock onto the other ones. I want to kill these ones first. Hit them with the statue! Get absolutely destroyed, kid. Death. Oh, we're supposed to go this way. Cool. Level three. No. Well, yeah, level three. Let me investigate, please. Oh my god. Investigate. Thank you. There's also stuff in this room. Ooh la la. Ghosts. Confirmed. Stuff's just rolling around on its own. Got the brain field gear. Alright, let's get moving. This place was built as a museum. There was a plan to build a whole academic city nearby. A museum. Now that you mention it, it does give me that feeling. Alright, well, let's open this door. <sighs> oh, that was the wrong thing to do, but whatever. We loot the museum. Indiana Jones would be so sad. Because as we all know, it belongs in a museum. Alright, so we're here. A gate, but that means key card number four. 
My lord, how many key cards do we need? Too many, apparently. Alright. Fuck you for existing. We do a little bit of trolling. They also do a little bit of trolling, I guess. Alright, alright. Delicious. We invisible, and we're fast. What are they gonna do? Hit the thing they can't see and can't react to? Break the shell! Pay the toll. Come on. Let me... There we go. And... I want to finish off with a ground pound. Oh well. So why did we come over here? Okay then. There's literally nothing over here. Pretty epic. Let's look at our map real quick. This place is a freaking maze. Where is the map? There we go. Need... So there's a two door here, I guess? So back the way we came and around the corner. So all the way to the end of this area. In here. Down the hall. Here we go. A three door. What about this one? And a two door. Okay, so this is just the way we came in originally. This looks like an arena. It sure is. I want this one. It's Beyblade! That is so strong. I will be here for it. Uh, yeah, throw the barrel. Oh, well, fuck. Where's the enemies? There they are. Yeah, yeah, just keep slashing into him. Smash him! Hit him with the barrel. I need to remember the whole left, uh, left stick up on that one. Uh, you're supposed to fall on the floor, my friend. Can I select something in the room, please? Fire is hot, understood. Alright. 
Glad I didn't use up all these statues. Sit down. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, I'm getting juggled. Oh my god, dude. my normalization tablet. Get up! God, bro. Let me just kill one of these things. Jesus. And I'm paralyzed again. I used a max jelly on accident. Oh well. Bro, please, stop with the projectile spam dog. I'm begging you. That's really frustrating. Alright, hyper velocity, pop a jelly, left trigger, and hyper velocity. Just lay down. Please. Jiminy Christ. There. And I get out of it directly into an enemy combo. Okay. Jesus, dude, that room. Whew. Probably should have saved, in all fairness. I, I think it's going to send us back quite a ways. Because I was an idiot and didn't save. Okay, no, it sent us back here. Cool. Alright, everyone, uh, I'm going to call it here. We'll pick up right where we left off next time. Uh, Thank you. Uh, I've been your watch. You've been you. This has been Scarlet Nexus. Thank you so much for watching. And I will be seeing you next time. Adios.